Can we start with a little college football? Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this weekend at our aforementioned festival, Boone Pickens, you know who he is. Heard of. Was heard to say, quote, when the Aggies sober up, they'll realize what a mistake this was. Would you like to respond to Mr. Pickens? Well, we're not the ones that's been drinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, the SEC is a perfect fit for us. Yeah. It is a 100-year decision. We are confident it will be there 100 years from now. We are not so confident that the Big 12 is going to be here 100 years from now. Uh, we hope it is, but we didn't, we didn't feel a comfort level there. Uh, it's a perfect fit for us in a lot of ways. Number one, it's the premier conference in the nation. Uh, we're going to have the opportunity to play. I said in San Antonio the other day, we're going to go play with the big boys and caught hell, so I won't say that again today. Yeah. Uh, but we, uh, we, we, it's an absolutely perfect decision for us. It, it, our whole Aggie Nation is uh, you know, virtually unanimous behind that decision. Right. Uh, and we are very comfortable with that decision and think it's a good one for Texas. Uh, it's certainly a good one for Texas A&M. We get to take the Texas brand and the A&M and brand to a larger swath of uh, Americans that have right. never seen, never heard too much about us before. And um, I can tell you that when the, big, when the SEC folks came down to uh, visit us uh, last week, uh, they got a little taste of what A&M was about and they were I think it's fair to say they were pretty impressed with the, with the spirit and what Texas A&M is about. Those things that you, you, you have a difficult time explaining to H people. Hard, hard to it. explain, they got to see it. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Uh, beyond the stability and beyond the idea, I think a very noble idea of exporting the Texas brand to the rest of the country, I want to ask you about the money. There are conflicting accounts of whether this will be, from an A&M perspective, a financial win or a financial loss relative to the Big 12. Can you settle that once and for all, please? Yeah, well, Bowen Lofton has settled that uh, many times. I mean, the worst case scenario is we make uh, four to five million more dollars than we're making worst right case. now. Worst case. Worst case. Right. Okay. Uh, do you blame UT for setting all this in motion? I know there's some discussion about the degree to which the Longhorn Network is ultimately <coughs> responsible for the undoing of the Big 12 to the degree that you all are, are, are splitting. Do you have any bad feelings toward UT about this? Oh, of course not. <laughs> 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 could, you, could you repeat your question? Uh, that, that explains it pretty well. Uh, not, not at all. I mean, I, I, I'm, I am a good friend of the Lost Dogs, uh, have been for a long time. Unlike some UT fans, I want him to stay there forever. And I think that uh, he is doing what he does best. I mean, the Lost is a money machine, and you need money machines at universities, and I think he's great at what he did. Yeah. Um, you don't begrudge them the decision to make that deal? That was not the reason we went to the SEC. Okay. I mean, it, it, it really wasn't. So in the absence of a Longhorn Network, we would still be having the same conversation? We would. Yeah. So, so, what, would. so the UT piece had nothing to do with this at all? Literally? Nothing. <laughs> nothing? <laughs> nothing. nothing. Um, it, I, in my opinion, it would have happened anyway. Yeah. We wanted to be a part of the SEC. Um, the folks at Baylor and the folks at Tech and all of those folks can deal with that as, as best they can. Uh, but uh, we, we made the right decision for Texas A&M and we think we made the right decision for Texas. Uh, and it is going to be a long, stable, right. good relationship uh, for us. And plus we think it's going to help our recruiting. I mean, which was of course your yeah. next question. It was. Which was, uh, and, and that is that you know, if you're, a, if you're a really good college player in the state of Texas, you want to play in the premier conference of the United States, and that's SEC without debate by anybody. But your mama wants you to come home and hug her every Sunday, and the only place you can do that is College Station, Texas. So you get the best of both. That's right. Right. Uh, last question on this before we move on. You and DeLoss, your old friend DeLoss, have disagreed about the prospects for preserving the Thanksgiving Day rivalry. You've said you'd like to see it retained. He said, don't see it. What's going to happen? What it takes to, to tango in that deal. Uh, we were, we've been clear from the beginning. I mean, there are, there are Florida, Florida State, or in different conferences, they play a rivalry game. 
um, Colorado, Colorado State, yep. Ohio, uh, Iowa, Iowa State, on and on and on, and going to Alabama and every place. The fact that one is in one conference and the other is in another conference has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not you continue those games. That is a game since 1894 that has belonged to the people of Texas. It does not belong to Texas A&M. It does not belong to uh, University of Texas. It doesn't belong to John Sharp. It doesn't belong to the Lost Dots. And we feel that that is something that ought to be preserved. And we have said we will play you any place, any time. Just let us know where it is, and we're ready to preserve that game.